Salmonan, 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 Salmonan. Sorry about that. Um, so I've been sent this one article. Been sent three times on Twitter and uh, once via my Instagram. Um, and I was ignoring it. I didn't want to really engage, you know. But the number of times, like people have sent me this and said, "Hey, Pins, what's what's your view on this?" So I was like, "Hey, you know what? Uh, let me just put a pause in the whole." Jolarin vibe for now and just talk about this because it's some it's a it's a topic that I'm very very passionate. So there is a sergeant in uh King Williamstown, a Kong, I think it's Kong, in the Eastern Cape, um Sergeant Anthony Zugo Balfour, who has been sentenced for I think 15 years in prison for shooting and killing a robber. Um so U Sergeant Balfour was being robbed by this guy called U Anati Kabisisa. Um and then essentially shot him. And now the sergeant, the cop, is now um, being being sentenced for 15 years in prison um, for, for murder. And I've spoken about masculinity. I've spoken about guys going to gym. But a very, very sensitive topic is around uh, uh, um, protection, self-defense. Self you know, uh, I've spoken to many women around carrying pepper sprays i've spoken to many women around carrying tasers i've spoken to women to go and get a, a a legal firearm for them to protect themselves you know we live in a country where gbv is at disgusting rates our sisters get raped it's it's hurtful it's heartbreaking and it's not like um oh they only get raped there you know it's people say i got raped by my uncle by excuse me by my my my, my friend whatever the case may be and I think as much as the guys are have to protect and do better, the sisters also need to, to, to take responsibility in the sense of you live in the jungle. So it's something that's very, very near, dear, near and dear to me. Um, it's nice to have a big bicep. It's nice to have a six pack. But in reality, in this country, when someone comes to you with, with a knife, when someone comes to you with, with, a, with a cricket bat, your six pack can only do so much, you know. Um, I box, I fight. Um, Amanda, we, we we spar, we go for it, you know, just again so that she can get some sort of training. You know, I'm not saying that she'll become the most advanced boxer, but at least um, she can do something. Um, I I carry my firearm, like <laughs> even right now, like I'm carrying so. The reason why I carry 24-7 is because I don't know when crime will happen. I don't, you know. I don't know if it will happen when I go shopping. I don't know if it will happen when I'm at work. Um, I have no idea. I, I don't know if it will happen in, 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 in my, my car. I had a car stolen. I was driving a bike. It got stolen in church in a, in a white suburban neighborhood, you know, behind a boom gate with a security guard, you know. So crime happens every and anywhere, you know, so... For me, protecting myself and protecting my family is paramount. You know, I've got three amazing boys and one on the way. I've got beautiful family. So um, it's been my role. You know, I see myself as a man to be able to at least try and protect my mother, my partner, my friends, um, and just be a good citizen. Now, going back to this case, the reason why U -U -U Sergeant Anthony Zogo Balfour got arrested and sentenced is because um he was being robbed by this guy you know this guy who, who, who Anat, came and he robbed him the guy stabbed him in his arm i think he stabbed him in his face stabbed him on his head so now obviously there's imminent danger I, I'm, I'm fighting for my life the problem is that once that had happened the robber then left or ran away ne? the sergeant then went to his car fetched his weapon and then chased the robber he chased the robber, he shot the robber in the neck, the robber fell down, whatever, he tried him until he killed him. Um, the law in this country is very, very clear. You have the right to protect your life. You have the right to protect other people's lives, you know, should there be an imminent threat. So if I'm at the club, and some person comes and slaps me, you know, um, the law will say, what's the level of danger to life? You know, if someone comes and shoves me, What's the danger to life? I can't pull out my firearm and shoot this person, you know, because the law will then say it is not equal. Your retaliation is not fair to what has happened to you, you know. However, should someone come with a knife, a knife 
is imminent danger to my life. That's when I can pull out my weapon and then neutralize this person who is a threat to my life. If someone comes to and pulls out a knife and goes in the direction of my kids or a friend of mine, my friend of mine's life is in danger. Therefore, we all have a right to life, except this person who's about to kill this one. That's when I can pull out my firearm and then neutralize this person. So with Upal, unfortunately, because the guy who had stabbed him ran away, you're, you are, he's no longer an imminent threat. <laughs> can you see how weird the law is? He's no longer an imminent threat. So the mere fact that I can go to my car, you know, I could have gone to my car, got into the car, went to the hospital, called um, the police, whatever the case may be. But Sergeant then decided to take his weapon and then go and shoot to kill this guy. That's why he got sentenced um, 15 years. I think they've reduced it to seven. This again is something that happened in 2017, but we know that the law in this country takes its time with certain things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so crazy guys, sisters, sisters, if you have kids, um, yes, you might have a loving husband who is doing the best that he can to try and protect you and his family, but he can only do so much, you know? So if there's robbers that come into your house with baseball bats and there's five of them, you know, um, he's only but one, you know? So again, him pulling out his sakila is going to, you, you understand? It's, it's very tough. You know, uh, I know when people come. If people were to come into my home, um, I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to try and do is lock the door of the bedroom, you know, um, lock my, make sure that my kids, myself, we are safe. People can steal. There's insurance, you know, steal the TV, steal whatever you need to steal. Um, insurance will cover that. The only time that I will then start is the moment I feel like these people are in imminent danger to our lives. Then I can justify it in court. I don't know if I'm, I'm making sense. So all the guys that have sent me the video, thank you so much. Uh, for sending me this video. Um, I really wasn't planning on, on talking on it or doing a, a deep dive, but the realization is that people don't understand South African law. Um, if someone comes and stabs you in your arm and then runs away, the running away means that the, the threat to life is away. You cannot chase after him, unfortunately. Whether you think the law is right, whether you think the law is wrong, that's just how the law is. So it's very, very sad that the sergeant got stabbed in the face, got stabbed in the head, and he is still the one who's going to go to prison for all these years. And very, very simple, it's because he had left his weapon in the car. If his weapon was on him, if he had pulled out his weapon and made sure what he in face, and I was like, Baba, you know, in that case, it would be in a different story because again, you are here with the knife, you have stabbed me, I pull out my weapon, I neutralize you, it's self-defense. But should the threat be running away, should the threat have left, you can't chase them. Someone comes into your house, steals your TV and runs away, you cannot, you cannot fetch your firearm and chase off them and shoot uh, that person. That, that'll be attempted murder. If you shoot to kill him, that, that's murder. That's how the law sees it. Do you agree? I don't know. I personally look at it in the sense of one less criminal. Um, I know it's such a dark thing to say, I do, I do. This guy was trying to rob a cop. This guy was trying to, uh, essentially by stabbing a person in the face and the head, is trying to kill me. So again, I disagree with the law, but the law is the law. Guys, please do yourself a favor. Again, trailing and trailing, guys, especially the guys that, and the woman that have their head screwed on right, go to your nearest gun store. Go to your nearest police officer's uh, police station and say, listen, I want to apply to get a firearm the right way, the legal way. A lot of you guys have Amalashi, we call them, these weapons illegally under your bed. You're going to get into a lot of shit with that. So do the right thing so that you can carry legally. You know, you can move safely knowing that I can at least try to protect my family. I don't know when crime is going to hit. I'm not saying I'm Robocop, guys. I'm not saying if I'm driving and this guy's trying to hijack me, now I'm keep e e e R5 when you keep up. Ah, insurance, take the car. I've got insurance, it's fine. Put my hands up. Yeah? They can take the, my phone, or they can take shop. Insurance will sort that thing out. But I now know that they took the stuff and my life is no longer in imminent danger. However, if they're coming through, they're trying to uh, uh, harm my loved ones, they're trying to rape, I can then say, look, our lives are at risk. I can then neutralize you guys, you know. And then, one, 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 seconds, one, 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 one. So it, it becomes those things. But understand the law. A lot of us are lazy. A lot of us just are going to watch this YouTube and go, oh, you can do that. No, do your own research. As I'm saying, go to gun ranges, go to police uh, stations 
and talk to people who actually live in that world, who are actual experts in understanding the law around self-defense and when you can utilize your weapon. Sisters, we talk about how dark and how trash men can be. What are you doing to protect yourselves? Yes, as men, we need to do better. We need to talk as men and say, guys, we need to stop our shit. We need to stop victimizing our sisters. Our sisters are living in fear. We need to really stop the rape. We need to stop the GBV. What we're we doing is disgusting and dark. That's our side as men. That's what we, we need to be doing. Yes, we are failing, but we need to be doing that. You on your side, what are you doing to protect yourself? Are you ensuring that you have your pepper spray, you have your taser, you have your legal weapon, and you train, ensuring that when the time comes, again, we live in Africa, when the time comes, you know how to use it. You're not just going to panic. You know, are you going to self-defense classes? Again, it's great to have big biceps and a six-pack, but it's a situation where your big biceps and a six-pack can't help when a guy very shang and then you fall. You can't be doing sit-ups, you know? So understand those things. So um, let me know how you guys think and how you guys view self-defense, uh, how you guys view uh, uh, the, the, the crime stats in this country, how you think about this case with uh, o -O Sergeant Anthony Zogo Balfour and the, the criminal. Um, should he go to prison? Um, was he right to go to his car, fetch, and then go and neutralize uh, uh, the thief? Um, did he do society a service because now that thief can't now go and harm other people? That, that Those are just opinions and thoughts. We Again, the law is one thing. Our thoughts, our moral compass is something else. But let me know. Um, spread this video far and wide so that we can continue these engagements and we can uh, uh, better society as best as we can. Most Islam, you guys heard me. If you're a mother, if you're a woman living by yourselves, please, 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 please try your absolute best to protect yourself. Try. Go to MMA gyms. Learn how to fight. Learn how to... Should a guy come into your home? Should your your your, your loving one-night stand or your partner try to do something funny? Because you've got MMA training, you put him in a sleep choke, yeah, Lala, you call the cops and he gets arrested. So those type of things to really try and protect yourself. I try. I've tried. I've turned my body into a weapon. I fight. I make sure I carry my weapon and I'm doing the same. My kids, I get my kids into fighting. When they get older and the right age, they will get their legal weapons. We go to the range and we shoot little point two twos so that they get used to shooting guns, hearing the guns because we live in South Africa. I wish... We lived in this utopia where crime doesn't exist and it's just rainbows and unicorns. If it was that, I wouldn't carry. If everything was amazing and Yabon and everybody say, hi neighbor, hi neighbor, I wouldn't. But unfortunately, I know what the world is. It ought to be this, but it's currently this. And because it's currently this, I will do the best that I can to protect myself and my loved ones. Please, Nani, guys, please can you do the, the right thing, the legal way to try and fix this community. Anyway, Gantana, 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 please subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Um, yeah, man, I love you guys. I, I, I really do. And I hope that um, society gets better. But at the same time, until we can get to that stage, I hope you can protect yourselves. Out.